Hello viewers, welcome to Limu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor filler this city. Today we're going to look at English Form 1, Lesson 12. Our topic will still be on grammar and the subtopic we're going to look at articles. And so our lesson object we expect that at the end of the lesson, you as a learner or a student will be able to describe an article and identify the different uses of an article and we'll begin by naming the articles. We have three types of article. We have article A, article AN, and THE articles. A, AN, and THE. These are the three types of article that we have in English. And if we look at this article, what do we notice is that they come before nouns. An article can either be definite or an indefinite. The definite article is the article THE, while the indefinite is the article A and AN. So we're going to begin with the definite article THE. Can we look at the functions of the definite article THE? It is used when talking about particular person, things, or places. For example, the book on the table is mine. Just like we have said, it is used when talking about a particular person, things, or places. The book on the table is mine. So in this sentence, we can see that the book is an item which is being talked in the text. In the example, sorry, the novel, The River Between, is interesting. It tends to tell us more or tends to talk about a particular book, which is the river between. Uh, we also have it is used with proper nouns. Remember when we talked of proper nouns, we say these are the names of specific persons, places, or things. So when we say the article there is used for <coughs> such as the Nile, the Yala, the Victoria. We can also have another use of article there. It is used with singular nouns to represent a whole class. It is used with singular nouns to represent a whole class. Example, the rhino is an endangered species. The dog is domestic animal. You can see that is another use of the definite article they with singular noun. The singular noun in the first example is the rhino. And in the second example, it's the dog. We can also say uh, the definite article there is used with abstract nouns. For instance, abstract nouns are nouns that talk about things that we cannot see, but we can, these are things that we cannot touch, but things that you can touch or see, or, or see, but you can feel them. For instance, the beauty is an abstract noun. So when you talk about the word the beauty, it goes hand in hand with the definite article there. The examination, number four, it is used with the superlatives. For example, Christmas is the best time of the year. Uh, we, are done, we are now going to look at the definite article A and AN. We have said these are the indefinite articles. And we talk when we say of in the, we talk of indefinite articles we tend to see the the indefinite article a and an mean they mean one and are therefore used with the singular nouns. When a noun begins with a consonant sound, not necessarily a letter, we use before it. When a noun begins with a consonant sound, not necessarily a letter, we use before it. Example a book, a pen, a desk. We can see it goes hand in hand with a consonant sound. The consonant sound is a book. So we have a consonant sound as b. A pen, a consonant sound p. A desk, a consonant sound d. Uh, can you look at the functions of the indefinite article an? When a noun begins with a vowel, we use an an before it. When a noun begins with a vowel, we use an, an an before it. For example, an egg. An egg is a noun. An apple is a noun. An elephant is a noun. So when a noun begins with a vowel, we use the indefinite article an. 
uh, indefinite article uh, the indefinite article uh, is used when someone or something is mentioned for the first time for example I saw a woman buying a dress for a little girl in a shop when something is mentioned for the first time we, we use the article a uh. And a point to note, there is used if someone or something is not being mentioned for the first time. So it's directly the opposite. For example, when the woman left the shop, she gave the dress to the girl. That means when something is not mentioned for the first time, we use the article there. That's the end of our lesson and I want you to check out on the following assignment. Fill the gaps in each of the following sentences with the right article. We have arrived dash hour before time and therefore that show had not begun attempt the following and remember to use the definite article and the indefinite article in the right sentences and their instruction for much and this more on the articles you can refer them to excelling in english students book one kenya literature bureau and also for much on this more, you can steal creatures through our SMS line and on YouTube at Elimu TV, Facebook at Elimu TV and on Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you very much for the lesson.